guys, Dr. Frank here, founder of Addiction Mindset, and in today's brief video, I want to take a moment and discuss a very serious condition called cannabinoid hyperemesis syndrome. So this syndrome or this condition is going to apply to anyone who smokes a lot of cannabis, especially to people who have been smoking high concentration THC carts, and this can apply to both carts that are from a dispensary or your, your classic pesticide carts. Now, what is cannabinoid hyperemesis syndrome? This is a syndrome that involves cyclical vomiting. So you're waking up in the morning, you're feeling nauseous, you're constantly throwing up. Every time you eat food, you feel that, that low-level nausea, and the vomiting can get really, really intense. This is an individual that doesn't feel well. You might have the chills, you might feel like you have a fever, your muscles might ache, you might be shaky all the time. But the, the key thing is really this, you're waking up in the morning and you're vomiting. And you may find in some cases that the smoking actually in the early stages, that the smoking is helping you with the morning nausea, that the smoking is helping you with the nausea mm, to find out later on potentially that it was actually causing you a lot of harm and you wind up really sick. So cannabinoid hyperemesis syndrome, this is where you're smoking weed and you're not feeling very well. And this is very different from greening out. Greening out is at one point you consumed too much THC or you were poisoned by a laced cart and you wind up vomiting for the evening. You feel terrible. You might experience some psychosis, some depersonalization. And then in a few weeks, a few months, a few days, a few hours, you recover. This is very different from greening out. Cannabinoid hyperemesis syndrome can be acute or it can be chronic. So this condition where someone's feeling sick, constantly throwing up in the morning, this can go on for a few days. This can go on for a few months. This can, can haunt people for up to a year. It depends on the individual and it depends on if they continue to smoke or not. A lot of people with cannabinoid hyperemesis syndrome tend to also have cannabis addiction. So they're in a really tough place. Here they are vomiting every time they consume cannabis and can't stop even though it's destroying their health. There have been, I want to say, two to three recorded deaths due to this. And in each of the cases, the death was due to dehydration and eventual kidney damage from the vomiting. So the vomiting was so intense that the person became hydra uh, dehydrated and then passed away. Now, those are extreme cases, but it's very sad. Now, for those of you guys that are watching this saying, oh, that's not real. I think that's ridiculous. You're just, no, go on Facebook. Look at the groups. There's, there's, there's two massive groups dedicated to cannabinoid hyperemesis syndrome trying to spread awareness about this condition. Now, the scary thing about this condition is people will often go to the medical doctor and the medical profession is not super up to speed on this condition. And hopefully they get there because obviously cannabis use is going up with legalization, um, right? You're, you're going to see an increased risk of addiction and you're going to see an increased rate of CHS or cannabinoid hyperemesis syndrome. Now, Typically, these people have been to the ER on several occasions. They've been to several, several gastrointestinal doctors. They've been misdiagnosed with anorexia, acid reflux, um, GERD, uh, irritable bowel syndrome. And maybe they didn't tell the doctors they were smoking marijuana, or maybe they did tell the doctor and the doctor had no idea. Now, so it's commonly misdiagnosed or, or overlooked. So if you went to your doctor and you kind of told him you had these symptoms and you told him he smoked, and he was like, oh, that's okay. Or even worse, they said, oh, that should help you with your nausea. Mm, oh, my gosh, you might have been misdiagnosed. So keep that in mind. The other thing that I want you to keep in mind, too, about this condition is the only way to fix it, the, the only cure, is to 100% stop smoking. And I mean never smoke again stop smoking not a year later not two years later not three years later go through read through reddit read through the forums you're going to see people who report smoking even two to three years later and still getting sick from chs or cannabinoid hyperemesis syndrome so i really want you to take a minute if this sounds like you 
and consider that you might you might be on the verge of getting your health in some big big trouble and also consider you may need to quit now for those of you watching thinking I can never quit I can never do it our websites below you can email for a free PDF on quitting or you can sign up for our one-on-one -on -one coaching services I would also encourage you guys to check out the marijuana anonymous groups there are groups like there are Alcoholics Anonymous and Narcotics Anonymous, there's Marijuana Anonymous out there. So you can go get free support through there. We charge, you know, for our services. And I think that's everything I wanted to say about uh, the condition CHS. Commonly misdiagnosed, hot showers can help. What can you do to get better? Number one, you have to stop smoking. Number two, you have to start light exercise. Maybe this is just going for a walk in the morning. You have to start to do things that make you feel good. Talking to other people, talking to family members, talking to a coach, talking to someone who can comfort you and reassure you that everything's going to be okay is important. And in some cases, we may actually even encourage you to go see a gastroenterologist or a specialist for this condition because, guys, I hate to see it. We've now had patients who have had to get part of their colon removed due to developing an autoimmune attack or an autoimmune disorder on their colon due to this condition so please don't take this stuff lightly it is so serious it is it is so serious it's so serious so i'm not saying that to scare you i'm saying that to you because it's a reality i'll do a separate video on your endocannabinoid system in chs why does that happen you have a system in your body called your endocannabinoid system your body makes its own cannabinoids if you throw the, that system off enough, I speculate it could result in autoimmune disease. I speculate that, and I'm warning you, gastroenterologists are seeing that occurring in the GI tract of people with very severe CHS. So just some things to keep your mind wrapped around. And remember this, something that was once a pastime, something that used to be fun, something that you used to enjoy doing, smoking weed, might not be fun anymore. In fact, it might be quite literally killing you. It's okay. It's okay. You have to let it go, though. You have to accept that. And the sooner you can accept that this thing that you used to enjoy might now be harming you, the easier it's going to be to quit, okay? I made a whole separate video on quitting. Feel free to watch that. But remember, something that you used to get, I love it, you used to love smoking, it's not what it was anymore. So keep that in mind. Good luck. Reach out to our offices. Schedule an appointment if you have questions, if you want to speak to us. And stay tuned for more great content on the topic.